I'm Sydney. And I'm Sarah. And we're bringing you a new episode of Everyday Student Challenges. This week, we're doing common sense questions. You'll see six students go head to head for the ultimate prize, bragging rights. We hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get to it. Hey Eagles, I'm Lakin and I'm going to be explaining uh, basically what this common sense challenge is all about. So we're going to have a total of six contestants and it's going to go two at a time and we're going to ask them each three questions and whoever gets a majority of the questions right is going to go on to the final round. So three people will go on to the final round. And in the final round, um, they're going to be asked multiple different questions and based on who gets the most of them right, then they're going to be the winner. Alright, first question. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain on Earth? <laughs> the answer is Mount Everest. Oh. What? go nine days of without sleep that's all right yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right last one. Oh. how many holes are in a straw you're right is it one <laughs> let's go <laughs> Final question. A rooster laid an egg on top of the barn roof. Which way did it roll? Which way did it roll? Wait. What? You're right. Chickens don't lay eggs. <laughs> Hens do. Roosters don't. Oh. Roosters are the middle of the neck thing. First question. A rooster laid an egg on top of the barn roof. Which way did it roll? That's what I want. Uh, it's a rooster. It doesn't lay eggs. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's if a coconut falls from a tree, but if the wind is blowing east, where will it land? You're right. <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> it's okay, just All right. Nice. I'll, I'm way overthinking these. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Last question. How many months have 28 days? <laughs> no. no. Wait. And that? Um... Wait, can you show that again? How many months have 28 days? What? <laughs> I'm confused. Neither of y'all get it? No. All of them. All of them have at least 28 oh. days. <laughs> so uh, that means, uh, Kieran, you won. Dang it. I knew it. <laughs> How much dirt is in a, in a hole three feet deep, six feet long, and four feet wide? Yeah, you're right. Okay. What goes up and never comes down? Mm, was that a tie? Yeah, that's a tie. That's a tie. Okay. And last one. How many times can you subtract 10 from 100? Once. Yes. That was late. So they're tied. Um, last question to even out. If there are 30 foxes and 28 chickens, how many didn't? <laughs> what? That makes no sense. How many didn't? 
If there are 30 foxes and 28 chickens, how many didn't? If there are 20 or 30 foxes and 28 chickens, how many didn't? How many didn't? No. 28 <laughs> chickened out. No. <laughs> no. If there are 30 foxes and 28 chickens, how many didn't? It's 10. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Luke, you won. Yeah. Alright, question number one. A girl kicked a soccer ball. It goes 10 feet and comes back to her. How is that possible? Don't look at other people's answers. Is it because there's ten feet? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Unbounced force. <laughs> Is that right? No. <laughs> what? Wait, can we keep Did answering? Hit a wall? Yeah. No. Can we no. keep answering? Yeah. Yeah, keep answering. Roll Wait, down the hill. Repeat. Repeat, please. A girl cooked a soccer ball. It goes ten feet and comes back to her. How is that possible? Oh, because it's a girl. Right? No. <laughs> kicks it. A girl kicks a soccer ball. It goes ten. And it goes feet. back down the hill. And it comes. No. And it comes back, back to her. To her. Comes, wait, comes back or just comes back to her? Comes back, comes back, to, back to, her. to her. Kicks a soccer ball ten feet. Did she kick it up a hill? No. And it comes back to her. You're on the right track, Beth. Maybe she moved. No. She kicks a soccer ball 10 feet and it comes back to her. She, wait, can I... Are there any other people involved? <laughs> just one girl? Just her. She kicks it up in the air? Yeah. Write it down. You gotta write it down. You gotta write it down. Totally. <laughs> 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 you got it. That's dumb. No, it, it just Wait, but y'all were saying it, no when no. they were saying stuff. It says up. up. And mine says kicks up. I told you to do rock first, and you put down scissors. How many times can you subtract five from twenty-five? Ah, uh, once. Once. You're right, Luke. What the neck? Because the next time, then you would be subtracting five from twenty. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh. All right. Imagine you are being surrounded by sharks in a sinking rowboat. How do you survive? Stop thinking. Yeah. She heard that one. She, she started writing before you even said it. Yeah, she, she started writing. She literally started writing as soon as you said the first word. That one is just like... said stop thinking? No, if it's like, if it's like, just imagine something's bad's happening to you, how do you get out of it? Stop thinking. Okay, but you said something and she goes... Yeah. It's a classic. Oh, okay. It's not a classic. If you are in a dark room with a candle, a wood stove and a gas lamp. You only have one match. So what do you light first? Repeat, please. Repeat. <laughs> if you are in a dark room with a candle, a wood stove, and a gas lamp, you only have one match. So what do you light first? What do you light? You're right. The light? Oh! It's literally common sense. You light the match. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. I thought you meant... Okay. An electric train is moving north at 100 miles per hour, and a wind is blowing to the west at 10 miles per hour. Which way does the smoke blow? North. It's going north. It's going... Uh, no. <laughs> uh, you said that again. You want to hear it again? An electric train is moving north at 100 miles per an hour. An electric train? And a wind is blowing west at 10 miles per hour. Which way does the smoke blow? It's electric, right? Yeah. So it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So you got second. <laughs> Carly, you got third. Third. I don't know trains. It's an electric so train. Electric electric
congratulations, Luke, on getting first place. And bragging rights. If you want to be in one of our crazy challenges, make sure to email Sarah Daniel. We hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the video. Bye, Eagles!